and welcome to today's video. Some of my closest friends are coming down to London to see me today. Red weather warning. We don't issue these lightly and they're pretty infrequent. So when we have a red one in force, you know that the weather's going to be pretty extreme. All, of course, thanks to Storm Arwen. This was their original planned route. Meet Zashan. Zashan and I have known each other since we were about six months old. He lives in that. He very kindly agreed to pick up our other friend. Speaking of which, meet Areeb. The living legend. Areeb lives in Stoke. He was going to take the train to Nottingham where Zashan would pick him up and then they'd come down to London together. Unfortunately though, the storm meant plans had to change. So now Zashan took a significant detour going all the way from Louth to Stoke before coming down. ETA 4.30. Now I was meant to film a bunch of scenes for when they arrived but honestly I was so excited I just forgot. However, we did go and learn a new game. This is the story of that. Call it Indian snooker if you want. Given that we'd never played, we actually had to go and learn the rules in the first place. The International Caram Federation, or the ICF, have actually made laws. We obviously didn't end up learning them. Here are the basic rules. You have a striker. This can be placed anywhere along these lines or in this circle. You have to pot one of the colors, but make sure it's the right color. Otherwise, it's a foul. You can pot the queen or rani, as we say in Urdu, for extra points, but you have to pot your own color afterwards. So it's a bit tactical. If you fail to hit anything, it's a foul. If you knock a piece off the board, it's a foul. Now, one of the things that Areeb is really gifted at is fouling. <laughs> Needless to say, we played in the fairest way possible. <laughs> one of the things that Zashan is really gifted at is cheating. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of them have any integrity when it comes to playing this game, but luckily I was there to adjudicate. I should say there's a lot of variation to these rules and some of the variation is now to me making up the rules. The winner is decided by the one who has the most points at the end. In other words, the one who's got the most chips. The boys bought so many gifts, so thank you so much. Especially to Areeb who gave me this pink t-shirt and told me that I had to film my next video in it. This is for you. I can't really describe how nice it is to have some of your closest friends play with your kid. Something quite special. Oh, and if anyone's wondering where we ended up playing, it's a cafe in London called Chai and Spice. This isn't a sponsored video by any means, but maybe it could be. Great food, great Kashmiri chai. And Karen, what else do you want? Thanks for watching. See you next time.